Okay, now that we have programmed our back turning operation, let's program our drilling. So I come back on the OL display so I can see better my icons. And here I have my rapid traverse for the drill in position 3, T1321. I double click to open. I am stopping one millimeter in front of the face of my part and I am already at X13 equal zero, which is the center of my part and that's good. Now here I want to program my drilling. I double click on this empty icon and I change the definition of my operation. I say drilling diameter five millimeter for top M6, for example. And then here I change my icon. I will choose the drilling, okay? Now let's start to program our isocode. Uh, I am one millimeter in front of the part, but let's don't forget that we already have a spot drill that took place before. So we have a center drill now, so I could easily go to zero directly in rapid with my drill, right? Maybe it's not important to do it at this point, Z13 equals zero in rapid. But let's say if this was to be the longest operation, then I can save a few tenths of seconds that are important when we are doing um, high production. Okay, now in my next line, I will go in a work feed to Z13 equal minus 13.9. The cylindrical depth of the drill is 13 millimeters according to my drawing. But then since my uh, zero reference of the tool is on the tip of the tool, I take into account the, the length of the taper of the, or the point of the tool in front of the drill, right? Which is, uh, if I calculate with that angle and that diameter, 0.9 millimeters. So I directly add it to my uh, final depth. And then I use a feed of 0 0.15. I'm done, I can wrap it out with the drill G1, G100, Z13 equal, let's say I come out five millimeter clip from my drilling. So I'm good, I can validate this operation. Now, when we exited the turning operation here, we were at a certain speed, probably relatively high, something like uh, probably close to 7,000 RPM. But for my drilling, I want to drill it with a speed of 5,730 RPM, which is equivalent to a cutting speed of 90 meters per minute. So it's going to probably take 0.2 seconds to decelerate from 7,000 to 5,700. 5, but I want to do it at the same time as it is going to change tool, not before or after, same time, in order to do it in hidden time. So how do we do that? We will create a new operation box. So I click on the magic band here, and then I insert an operation here. Okay. Now this operation, that's where I will put my speed change. So I double click, I choose an icon. Okay. And then I say speed change for drill. So I remember what I'm doing. And then here I type my uh, new speed value, M1303. M13, 13 is for the spindle identification and O3 is for the direction of rotation. O3 equals M3. And then if I do the space bar, it will automatically output the S and I say 5,730. Let's not forget here to delete the Z axis. Otherwise, we'll, we will have a mismatch resource when we're trying to generate it. So since we are on the line of the speeds, I will delete my Z axis here. I validate. 
Now I need to time this operation. I want the spindle change to take place when the turning is finished, but before the drilling start. Okay, so I will introduce two constraint lines. How do I do that? From the end of my turning, I go to the corner where I see the anchor, then I left click and I keep the button down on my mouse and I drag it to the front of this operation until I see the anchor again and then I release. So now when the turning is finished, it's going to change the speed, but I don't want it to start drilling until my speed change is done. So I do a, another constraint line. So I come at the end of it this time until I see the anchor. I left click and I keep the button, the left button of the mouse pressed down. And then I drag this until I am in the beginning of this icon. And then I see again the anchor sign. Then I release the button and there I am. So while it does the tool change is going to do the speed change as well. So I optimize my time. Now let's not forget in my initial speeds, we had here 2000 RPM. So I'm just going to do it the same as for the drilling 5730. Why I do that? It's to avoid any looping errors because drilling will be the last operation of this line and then it will exit with the speed for drilling. So if I put it here on my initial speed, it's going to also start at the same speed and thus avoiding any looping error with my spindle speed. So let's check if I'm good now. We generate everything. Okay, we have no alarm and we can see here that this operation for speed change, if I double click on it, it lasts 0 0.13 seconds. It's not a lot, but it does that while it does my tool change. If I open the tool change is 0 0.2 seconds. So if I would not have done it this way, it would have been 0 0.3 something seconds of time. We are not the longest operation here at the moment, but should we have been the longest operation, it would have mattered, right? So, but it's just to see the example here. Okay, uh, let's not forget to save by clicking on the save all button. And we are done with operation three. I hope this has been useful for you and see you in the next video.